Hey y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County and I'm at Mason Mill Park today and I was walking around looking uh, for maintenance issues and also of course looking at nature and I found a tree out here that had an unusual um, problem. So, well it's actually a very usual problem but it's one you may not have noticed before. So I thought I'd show it to you and then uh, tell you a little bit more about this tree. So let's get a little closer. You can almost immediately see that there's a problem with this tree. You see these dark staining? Now look at the bottom of the tree. What does that look like? Well, it looks like sawdust to me. And then if you come up the bark of the tree, one of the things you'll notice is that there's these little almost worm looking strands of sawdust coming out of the bark. So what we're looking at is the results of what I think is called a shot hole borer. Um, again, shot hole borer, which is an insect that bores or drills holes into the bark of a tree, in this case, the box elder tree, and then begins eating away the wood inside. Well, this is pretty common in box elder trees. And this particular box elder tree is a very old one. Box elders are fast growing trees and they don't live that long. And people oftentimes think of them as well, I sometimes heard people call them trashy trees. And I think the reason for that is because they, they don't live for very long. They don't have a very typical tree shape. In fact, there's one right over here and you can see it's almost bush-like. They send out shoots. So if they get damaged or if you cut something off, they'll send out all of these small shoots. And so again, in your yard, they may not be the most picturesque tree, but they're one I've grown to love. Let me show you a few things about the box elder. Now, the first thing about the box elder is of course, you wanna look at its leaf shape. And when I look at this, I immediately think poison ivy. You see three leaflets and there's just a little bit of serration or toothing on the edge of these. This is one of the uh, trees when it's just a little tiny sapling that people oftentimes mistake for poison ivy. However, it's in the maple family. And let me show you how I know that. Well, there's a maple tree right here. And you see that's a very classic maple leaf shape. If I take this leaf, and yes, this is the whole leaf. It's three leaflets that make up a leaf of the box elder and squish the leaves together just a little bit. Let's see if we can make it look that way. Do you see how, uh, yeah, do you see how now all of a sudden it looks a lot like a maple leaf? Well, in fact it is. It's oftentimes called the ash leaf maple because an ash tree has a compound leaf as does the box elder, but you can see how closely related they are to um, the other maples in the maple family. Well, back over here to the box elder, one of the ways that you can identify this as not poison ivy is by looking at these new stalk growths. You see how green and smooth and almost shiny this is? Poison ivy will not look like that. It will always have hairs. So even if this tree is a very, very, very tiny one, you cannot be fooled by looking at the stalk. Look at it, of course. Don't touch it if you're not sure yet. Moving on to seeds. Well, you probably recognize these. Seed pods, I oftentimes called them helicopters when I was a kid. The official name is Samaras. And it turns out the seed inside the Samara, so right at the very top, that kind of bulbous point right there, well, that is actually edible. I've tried it before. It doesn't taste very good. It's very hard to get to. It doesn't provide much sustenance. But if you needed something, it's a possibility. But when you walk by box elders, you will see some of them at this time of year with the Samaras, like this tree. 
But there'll be others, like the bushy one I showed you earlier, that has no Samaras at all. And it turns out that a box elder is a tree that's called, oh, I'm gonna get this word wrong. It's called dioecious, I believe, which means that some trees are female and some trees are male. And so this tree right here is male, and you can tell because it does not have the Samaras. And then the one right next to it that we were looking at originally, which is filled with Samaras, is the female. And they need both genders or both sexes of the tree in order to reproduce. And two final things about the box elder. One is, even though people oftentimes talk about this being a trashy tree, because of the borers that oftentimes infect it when these trees get old, the wood gets stained beautiful colors and burls in the side of the tree, which are kind of rounded areas where the wood has twisted, um, are loved by wood turners and woodworkers for both the color of the wood and kind of how the wood bends and turns and, uh, and shifts. So, uh, oh wow, you can actually see some being pushed out right here. Let's look and see if you can see it. Some of the sawdust being pushed out of a hole by a borer. Do you see how liquid that is right there? And see that black dot? That is the borer in action. I didn't mean to get sidetracked on that, but it was very interesting. So this tree is at the very end of its life cycle. Um, though it looks really healthy right now in terms of the canopy, you can tell by the bark, by the, um, the presence of the wood borers, that this tree probably is uh, uh, in a, a downward cycle uh, of its life. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention to you, besides the fact that wood turners love this word, uh, wood, is that um, there is one other pest that we consider a pest at our homes, but the box elder tree more or less lives symbi symbiotically with. Um, and it's called the box elder bug. Now there's none on it right now, but I think I took a picture on this tree um, not so long ago, and I can maybe put that picture uh, up on the screen right here. The box elder bug does not hurt the box elder tree, but they come in giant swarms. I mean, there are tons of, when there's a box elder bug on this tree, there's lots of box elder bugs. And the time most people see them is that when they go from the box elder tree to your house. And that's when people end up calling out the exterminator. And now I hope this video has given you a little appreciation for an underappreciated tree. So next time somebody calls a box elder a trash tree, now you can tell them about their Samaras, you can show them the leaf shape, and show how hardy this tree really is. The fact that this tree can be as healthy as it is with the large number of, uh, of, of shot hole borers in it um, is really a testament to uh, how wonderful the box elder tree uh, is uh, for our environment um, and, uh, and, and for the Piedmont region. This is Ranger Jonah with the box elder tree signing off.